Good day everyone, welcome to your next tutorial on Ionic 2 with Firebase 3. In this tutorial we'll look at buttons and um, their colors, the, the types of buttons and their colors. As you can see, um, I've started teaching you gradually how to make your app look beautiful. So far we've been working with an app that just has ash colors here and um, monochrome. So gradually we'll, we'll learn how to make your app breathtaking so that when people see they'll be like wow all right so we'll add a few buttons there and then we'll see how to manipulate buttons so right under this card let's add the first button um, this is the basic way to add a button you just say um, follow okay so when we get back we'll see that by default users can follow they have a button and by default as you can see it's blue in color and it's at the, the left side so there are other things we can do with this button first of all let's look at the colors we have uh, primary that is what primary is the default so primary is blue then you have stuff like secondary we have primary button we have second secondary Okay, then we have um, we have dark, we have light, and um, then we have um, danger. So I'm just going to copy all of them and put them here so you see light, dark, and danger. Okay, let's add the final one which is clear. Clear. All right, so these are the colors you can, the default colors that come with uh, buttons. You can always um, adjust the colors as I'll show you in the subsequent tutorial. So let's get back to our app and see how far. So we have this app here, we have this here. So we scroll down, what do we have? We have follow, we have secondary, this is primary, we have secondary, we have dark, we have light, we have danger, we have clear. All right, so when it's clear, the, the rest of the button doesn't show, you just see the the, the text on the button okay so depending on the color you want to add now here are other things you can do with with button you can combine them for instance you can combine danger danger clear then you can combine something like light um, let me say secondary round all right so let's see then you can combine dark block so um, let's quickly add them so you see what is inside round. Let's say primary. Then um, danger clear. So we're back to our code and um, we click here, scroll down. So we have these guys here. So as you can see, we have a um, secondary round. Look at the, the edges are rounded. Then we have dark block. Block means that the button should occupy the full width only. Only the button should be on its own um, horizontal width or whatever. Then the last one is clear, which is danger clear, which means the, the text should be in the color of red, which is danger. All right. So you these these guys are colors, the dangers, the lights, the the darks, the secondary, they are colors, but then these other ones are other utilities, block, and um, the ways they should function. The other things we can do with buttons, other cool stuff, let me show you. If you observe it, you will see that we actually used buttons here. These guys are buttons. So these ones are buttons. We used buttons. So what does it mean? When you click an ordinary item in Ionic. Look at all these items. When you click it, nothing happens. Um, you, you don't notice any. The user doesn't get any notice any effect. But when you click a button, see what happens. It feels natural, like a click. So um, that's how all these buttons happen. It's called ripple. You feel this ripple effect. So sometimes when you want your user to feel the ripple effect, you use buttons. Now, if it's not going to appear like a normal button, you just want it to appear this way, then you do what we did here, which is actually create a button, but add 
a utility called ion item when you add it it will now be uh, like this like a media whatever all right let me show you more things about so I'm going to show you a couple of other things we could do. We have um, we can make this button full. Um, the difference between full and block is that full will just like block. When you add block, block will occupy the whole width. When you add full, full will occupy the whole width. But the only difference is that full at the bottom will have um, edges. You understand when it occupies with full. Let me show you the difference. So um, primary full okay um all right the page just refreshed and we added full to this primary and uh, when we click and we go down we'll see that it's full but it doesn't have edges i don't know if you can see it from my screen but if it's on your phone this guy will literally flow into the extremes of this screen and um, the other thing we can do is to make a button big then we can make a button round okay we just did round we can make it big then we can make a button small all right, we have big and small. Let's just check it out. And um, after it has refreshed, we'll click here, we get back here. We we'll see that um, this guy is small. You can't see it because of the, as you can see, this red guy is small, danger, small. Then this guy is big. All right, so these are the things about buttons, and these are just one types of buttons. There, there's a second type of button called floating action button. You know, when those days, you remember when you're using some apps like uh, your your Gmail app? There's this little icon by the lower right corner that has a plus sign, and when you click on it, it will pull up something, and uh, the user can type in stuff. We'll get to that, but let me show you how to create such a button. I think this is supposed to be large, not um, big, and. Um, I'll have to delete everything and show you the next type of button and um, we end the issue of button. So this is big as you can see it's now big, which is large. Uh, I will delete everything and leave only one. And uh, let's make it red danger. And um, let's call it something called FAB. That is floating, floating action button. Look at the spelling. Floating action button. All right, so that's FAB. So when we have FAB, we can see it. Floating action buttons typically don't have a text. They just have an, an icon. You're just going to have an icon inside it. Let's just dump one icon inside it. And um, this is what we did. We created the button, called it danger. Then we call it, um, we end that float FAB. Then we added an icon inside it, which is the globe icon we just copied from here. And that's it. We save. And add the refresh. And that's it here. Okay. As you can see, it's a nice button. And of course, you can float it to the right or left. So what you can do is, um, let's see if we can just change the, the icon to microphone. And maybe this can just to start a conversation with this guy. So this is what is called floating action buttons. Okay. So and then um, I believe you have understood the colors. This also means that if, for instance, look at the top bar that is this gray color. Um, we can change it by just coming to the navigation bar. And adding a color, what if we add a secondary to the navigation bar and it refreshes and uh, we we'll click here and what do we see? Bang! What a beautiful app. What a beautiful app. Okay, hope you see how you can use stuff to just uh, change colors there. It's so easy in Ionic. And these are just the basic colors. In the next tutorial, I will show you some real cool secrets about um, Ionic. Now, um, just before we round up, I want you to um, see something. Go to Ionic page, ionicframework.com, and um, go to 
see me your app and um, go to utility attributes now you see a list of all some of the utilities that we're using um, text left to align your text to the left text center so you just come to the element like this and then you add it like this text left and then all the text that appear here will go to the left if you put text right everything will go to the right and so on and so forth so wherever you want to use it whether it's in a card or anywhere you can just come to the top of the card which is the opening element and you add it you add whatever utility you're talking about so what we have here is um, all these components all these guys uppercase if you want everything to be capital letter for instance my details i want it to be capital letter i'll just say text uppercase just copy it and um, right there you paste it and uh, you refresh and guess what keep an eye on this guy here click ok and what do you have it's now in capitals so there are many things you can do with the utilities you capitalize it capitalize means the first uh, letter becomes capital and then um, you have other things like uh, your padding you can pad stuff to create extra space inside the content so that your, your text don't touch the extreme. Um, for instance, here, if we remove the P tag, if we remove the P tag and allow this to be here, we can just have, um, let's duplicate this. And if we come back to our app and it refreshes, we can just come back and click OK. Oops. What I wanted to show you didn't happen because we have um, we have text center somewhere. So let's remove this text center so I can demonstrate something interesting to you. So um, it refreshes and we have it. We click here. We see that oh it didn't happen. But what I wanted to show you was that in case uh, this guy was heading to the extreme you could use padding to bring it which means we have a um, padding somewhere let's remove this padding and try one more time we refresh it and uh, we get back oops so but that's it that's the job of padding it adds this little extra space to you unfortunately i'm not able to demonstrate it but in case you run into such an issue where you need an extra space remember that you can use padding to to make it work that way all right, um, see you in the next tutorial where we look at other ways to make your app beautiful and how to team your application. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. See you.